What up everyone, it's your boy Satema Gale, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast and movement that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, the secret of imperfect action. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I've got to wait till I feel like doing it. It's got to be perfect. Two things that people often say who are business owners, entrepreneurs, people who are wanting to create something significant in their life, and yet they get hampered by these two things. It's got to be perfect, or I've got to feel like doing it. Now listen to me closely. My friend, you will not ever feel like doing it all the time. You just won't. Like, it's ludicrous to think that you have to be in the mood to do something. And the other one, it's, things have got to be perfect. I've got to know everything. And so what do you do? You go read more books. You go watch more TVs. Now, where is this episode even coming from? I talked with a good friend of mine today who, very powerful man, game changer, life-changing coach. But like all of us, myself included, we all kind of sometimes get stuck in our head we kind of get in our own way, and, uh, you know, we just stop taking action. We don't take real action. We just kind of wait for things to line up. We wait for things to be perfect, and we wait till we feel like we're on fire. I got some bad news for you, my friends. If you are trying to create something significant, if you are a business owner that runs a business and you're trying to get to the next level, if you're trying to start something from scratch and get to that first level, if you're trying to write that book, launch your podcast, your website, if you're trying to start a coaching business, if you're trying to sell widgets or like shampoo for animals, whatever business or program you've got going right now in your back pocket, I've got news for you. If you wait till you feel like it, you will never do it. And if you wait till things are perfect and you know exactly what to do and how to do it, you'll never get there. Because the fact is this, you won't always feel like it. My goodness, I don't feel like going to the gym this, you know, this morning's a good example. I'm still on vacation here in, in Independence, Missouri. And we were up late last night, and it was probably midnight before we went to bed. And we told everyone, hey, 6 a.m., let's meet at the church to go play ball, right? The, the church that I go to, it has, we it's got like the cultural hall or the gym, right? You play basketball in it. So everyone's like, yeah, let's go at 6 a.m. At about 5.15 this morning, central time, which is 3.15 in California, I literally was like, dude, I do not want to go. You know what? I'm not going to go. And for about five seconds, I had this little internal battle uh, battle and struggle. Why? Because I didn't feel like it. I was tired. Of course I was tired. We've been running hard for three, four days. And yet I remembered I told everyone I was going to be there. I remembered what I wanted, which was, well, I want to lean down, lose fat, get in better shape strengthen my body, and most importantly, win the first victory of the day, which is, well, I said I was going to get up and go. Can I do it? And brothers and sisters, I did it. It was imperfect action. I got up, got my way to the restroom, used the bathroom, put my contacts in, brushed my teeth, throw some water on my face. And once I got to the church this morning to play ball, I felt great. Remember this, you don't feel your way into action you don't feel you. You don't like ever just, I'm going to feel my way. You act your way into feeling. You take imperfect action. You do what's required. You do what you said you would do and you let it be imperfect. Yes, ugly, arduous, making mistakes along the way, shipping, as Seth Godin calls it, shipping your product. This is like people who shoot videos with their cell phones. Yes, I'm one of those guys who does that. You shoot a video with the cell phone, and if you're up in your head, you're like, oh, that's not perfect, that's not good enough, I don't know if I can do this, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do this, and then you shoot like 30 takes. You don't have to shoot 30 takes. You just have to shoot one video, no matter how imperfect, no matter how out of sync, no matter how ugly, no matter how bad you feel you sound, and then ship it. Yes, imperfect action, my brothers and sisters. Doing it when you don't feel like doing it. Yes, that is the way of success. So then the real question for you is, can you take imperfect action today? 
Can you do that? Listen, when I started out my blog back in 2009, it's changed since then. I scrapped it. After 170 episodes, I was in this groove of writing and writing and writing. And I just got really good at writing. How? Because I didn't settle for perfect action. I said imperfect action is the way. And I began to write and ship. Even if there were grammatical errors, I didn't care. I'd go back and edit it. But once you like put it up, the blog, the video, the project, the idea, once you ship it, like get it to the marketplace without it being perfect. Once you sell it, now you got to go produce it. And I'm telling you right now, my brothers and sisters, if you'll listen to me and listen closely, imperfect action. Imperfect action is the way. You actuate into feeling like it. You don't wait till things are perfect and lined up. You just take action on it. So why is this so significant for you? Because right now, inside of your physicality, I'm going to hit body, being balanced, and business. Body. I got to wait till I got all the right foods. I got to wait till it's Monday. I got to wait till I'm back home. I'm on the road. It's too hard with hotels and traveling. That's a bunch of lies and stories. You don't got to wait till Monday. You don't got to wait till things are perfect. You don't have to wait till you've got the right foods right in front of you. Just start right now and ship and start with imperfect action. Spiritually, well, I've got to be at my desk and I don't have the right scriptures and I didn't say my prayer this morning and well, I'm really tired. I'll just, there's no need to wait, you know, there's no need to wait at all. Just get started. Opposition, resistance, adver- ad- the adversities and adversary, it would convince you that you have to wait for things to be perfect. Listen, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be perfect. With your relationships. Oh, we don't have a babysitter. Oh, we can't do a a date night and have dinner. Oh, it's got to be perfect. Oh, it's got to be perfect. Then I'm telling you, you don't have to be perfect. Just take action. Just take your spouse out on a date. Just take your kids for a walk. Put your phone down once you're done listening to this podcast. And go be with your children. And just set some simple guidelines and standards to get Start it. It's that simple. Brothers and sisters, it is that simple in your relationships. Start listening to the imperfect action. Imperfect action. But just any type of action. Ultimately, you want to get to necessary required action. NRA. That's ultimately what you want to get to. What's required and necessary. But but until you get to that point, just take imperfect action. Now, when it comes to business, oh, this is a big one. You hear this preached all the time from stages, from podcasts, from books, audios. Take massive action. How about you just take one action, simple action, imperfect action. That's all you got to do, brothers and sisters. I mean, what are you waiting for? Did you really think it was just going to happen? Did you really think it was just going to, like, come into your life? If you want something, take imperfect action and take it today. Right now. Like, it don't have to be perfect. I'm telling you right now, imperfect action. When I began to write my book, it was imperfect action. Two years later, it's taken me two years because I'm such a dang perfectionist. And I've scrapped, like, multiple copies. But this time, I'm shipping the book. It's dang near done. It's almost done. My podcast, am I perfect on this? No, y'all hear me make mistakes on this. Do I care? Nope. Because imperfect action, I just got to open my mouth, get the message out there, and let people know you can do the things you want to do, and you can create the life you want to create, and you can love your life, and you can make money, and you can level up your marriage, and you can lose weight, and you can do all sorts of things with imperfect action. Don't wait till you feel like it. Don't wait till it's perfect. Get out of your head with all those little voices whispering, you can't do it, it's too hard, it's not perfect. And, you know, quit comparing yourself to the gurus, right, to the people who've got nicer websites and systems. Just get started. The secret is imperfect action because you never feel your way into action. You act your way into feeling like it, and you act your way into feeling like it consistently, you start to win. You'll create massive momentum, and pretty soon you wake up one morning and you're like, wow, I'm making great money, I've got a great lifestyle, I've got a great team, great systems in place, and how did it start? Oh, yeah, imperfect action. My brothers and sisters, what you do it? What's one area in your life today? What's one area in your life today where if you just took imperfect action consistently, radically, 
chaotically. I don't even care if it's chaos. Just take it. What's one part of your life that if you took imperfect action today, it would change your life? And my question is, will you do it? The greatest minds in the world, they didn't wait till things lined up. They just kept taking action. They just kept taking action. They just kept doing the actions that mattered. They just kept chopping the wood. Brothers and sisters, this is your boy, Satema Ngali, reminding you that if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised land, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The prosperity revolution has begun. Will you join us? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.